In this Trello short, I wanted to show you how to automatically move cards to done when the due date is checked as complete. So what you're going to do is, first of all, I'm going to assume you have a board that has like a to do, doing, done sort of list. And what I want is I've got, let's say this card has a due date and whenever it is, um, I want whenever that is checked, that card to automatically move into done rather than me have to drag it. So what we're going to do is head over to automation, go to rules and click create a new rule. Click add trigger. And what we're looking for is it relates to a due date. So we're going to go to the date section and you're going to say when the due date is marked as complete in a card and you can add more filters to specify if you want it, it'll happen with cards with certain labels or in certain lists, but I'm just going to keep it, keep it pretty simple at the start. So when the due date is marked as complete in a card and then the action we want is a move action and we want to move it to the card to the top of the list done. So you specify that. You could even move it to another board if you want. So let's say you have another board where you keep completed cards as archives. You could specify that by clicking this and selecting the board. But again, I'm going to keep it simple and just stay in this board. Add the blue plus button. Confirm your rule. When the due date is marked complete in a card, move the card to the top list done. Save your rule. Get that fun confetti. Head over here. And now let's see if it works. Mark it as complete. Notice it moved over already. You can see in the comments here and you can see it over here. And just as a fun thing, you put um, confetti in your list name, it will um, celebrate for you when a card is moved over and sprinkle some confetti there. So just make sure if you do that, if you have made automation, you're gonna need to go back and check that rule to make sure that it understands it's the same list. You might have to reselect it and save the rule so it knows that it's actually that same list. So um, hope this helps and I'll see you in future videos.